Hey YouTube, this is Ace Pinkter. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a wah pedal effect for guitar or synth or any creative combination you can come up with. I'm going to use a guitar just because uh, the effect, the sound is pronounced enough that you'll be able to hear it well and it'll be recognizable. Now a wah pedal is basically just a high resonance band pass filter. So I'm going to create an envelope controlled filter and set it for bandpass mode. That's the first step. Second step is to make these controllable. Now if you like you can create uh, something like a subtractor and wire up an LFO to control the frequency and that should work just fine. If, if I do that I'll be able to play play my guitar. I can adjust the timing using the LFO on the subtractor. But I've also got to play around a bit with the amount of frequency and that, that becomes uh, rather difficult. But uh, the advantage to this is that it will keep a steady rhythmic timing. You can set it for a, uh, a synchronization and have it go in tune with your beat and that works pretty well for a number of applications. If you want to have a bandpass filter, a wah pedal which responds to your instrument, do it thusly. Select both the filter and your instrument and any effects devices that you might have on that instrument and choose combine that will produce a combinator which we can play we can play this now instead of having to play an individual instrument we can play anything in the combinator and that's important because we want our filter to receive the MIDI controls. So I'm going to go into the programmer you'll have to do this as well choose the filter and tell it to receive notes. That will tell us or that will tell the combinator to respond to our MIDI signals every time we play a note on the guitar. Now watch this gate light. It should light up when I press a key. And it does. Terrific. So now we're controlling an envelope and we have to set our envelope parameters to match uh, the effect that we want to get. First, um, we're going to play around with a, a bit with the frequency. You'll have to do this to tune the, the wah pedal to your specific instrument because e every instrument is going to have a different frequency uh, sort of a spectrum. I'm going to turn mine down a bit. Now you'll notice that I hear the ow sound, but I don't get the wah sound of a bandpass filter. And the reason for this is because we don't have any attack set up. The attack represents the speed of the movement of our filter from the bass to the treble. And the decay is the representation of our speed from the treble to the bass. We want to kind of balance these out evenly. I'm going to turn it right there. Let's listen to it now. Great. Now if you want a more pronounced effect, you can turn up the resonance, which will uh, change the spike of that particular frequency. And, or you can turn up the envelope amount, which will turn, which will tune how far into the high frequencies is our bandpass going to reach. See if I turn it all the way up. That goes way up into the high treble. We can't even hear it really. But that seems that seems pretty good. So uh, play around with your particular settings. Don't use any sustain on the filter if you want if you want the uh, sound to actually come back to the the ow portion of it. If you use sustain, you're only going to get half of the effect. All right, that's all I got. This is a pretty quick one, pretty easy one. Um, the wah sound is caused by a high resonance bandpass filter, and you can modulate it any way you want. This is Ace Pinkter signing off.